Hi all, welcome to my channel. We are now discussing trigonometric functions, chapter 3, class 11 maths. In the previous part, we discussed exercise 3.1. Today, we will discuss two questions from this exercise. We start from third question. A wheel makes 360 revolution in 1 minute. How many radians does it turn in 1 second? Once again, a wheel makes 360 revolutions in 1 minute. How many radians does it turn in 1 second? Okay. For that, first we write number of revolution in 1 minute. That is given. Number of revolution in 1 minute is given. That is equal to 360 revolution. A wheel is round in shape. Number of revolution in 60 seconds. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, that is equal to 360 revolution. Okay. Then, number of revolution in 1 second equal to 360 divided by 60. We find out number of revolution in 1 second. That is equal to 6 revolution. Okay. Then, we know that wheel is round in shape. So, angle made by wheel in 1 revolution is equal to 360 degree. Then, angle made by wheel in 6 revolution is equal to 6 into 360 degree. That is equal to 2160 degree. Now, we want to convert degree into radian. So, 2160 degree is equal to 2160 into Pi by 180. Converting degree into radian, we can we multiply with the pi by 180. That is equal to cancelling and we get 12 pi. So, the number of radians does it turn in 1 second is equal to 12 pi. Okay. Once again, a wheel makes 360 revolutions in 1 minute. How many radians does it turn in 1 second? Once again, a wheel makes 360 revolutions in 1 minute. How many radians does it turn in 1 second? For that, first we write number of revolution in 1 minute. That is given equal to 360 revolution. Then number of revolution in 60 minute. 1 minute is equal to, sorry, 60 second. 1 minute is equal to 60 second. So that is equal to 360 revolution. Then, number of revolution in 1 second, that is equal to 360 divided by 60 equal to 6 revolution. A wheel is rounded in shape. So, angle made by wheel in 1 revolution is equal to 360. Then, angle made by wheel in, we got 6 revolution. So, Angle made by wheel in 6 revolution is equal to 6 into 360. That is equal to 2160. But we want to write that angle in radian. So, what we do? We got 2160 degree. Converting that into radian, 2160 into pi by 180. Equal to by calculating this, we got 12 pi. So, the radians does it turn in 1 second is equal to 12 pi. Okay. Is it clear? Fourth question. Find the degree measure of the angle subtended at the center of the circle of radius 100 cm by an arc of length 22 cm. Use pi equal to 22 by 7. The value of pi is given. Here, R, R is equal to radius, that is 100 centimeter. And the arc length is given. Angle may measure, degree measure of the angle subtended at the center of the circle of radius 100 centimeter. So, R equal to 100. Then, an arc length, arc length is given, L is equal to 22 centimeter. We know the equation L is equal to R theta. Then, we want to find out the angle. Theta. Theta is equal to L by R. That is equal to L is 22 and R is 100. That's equal to 11 by 50. 
and this theta is in radian. Then we want to convert that in degree. How we can convert? 11 by 50 radian is equal to 11 by 50 into 180 by pi. Okay, that is equal to 11 by 50 into 180 by, we know the value, pi is given, 22 by 7. That is equal to 11 by 50 into 180 into 7 by 22. By calculating this, we got 63 by 5 degree. That is equal to, we can divide 63 by 5. What we get? 1, 5, 13, 2, 10, 3. So, we can write that 12, 3 by 5 degree. That is equal to 12 degree. 3 by 5 can be converted into minute. Multiply with the 60. That is equal to 12 degree. Then, dividing. Okay. 36 minutes. 12 degree, 36 minutes. Here, 12 degree, 36 minutes. Once again, find the degree measure of the angle subtended at the center of the circle of radius 100 cm by an arc of length 22 cm. The value of pi is given. Pi is equal to 22 by 7. Here, R is given, R equal to 100 and L is 22 cm. We know the equation L equal to R theta and theta is in radian. So, theta equal to L by R. 22 by 100 is equal to 11 by 50 radian. We want to convert that radian measure into degree measure. So, we multiply with the 180 by pi. Substituting the value of pi, and calculating this, we got 12 degree 36 minutes. Clear? Okay students, in this part, I explain two questions. This is very important question. So, I wind up today class. We will discuss some more problems. Next part. Thank you.